Welcome everyone. My name is Joelle and this is your yoga flow for better circulation. Meet me on the mat sitting off to the right side of your legs with your knees bent, leaning on your right palm and reach your left arm up and overhead and begin to take some nice slow circles with that top arm. You can follow this movement with your gaze, just warming up into the shoulder, stretching out through the side body, and then lifting up into a tall kneel to roll the shoulders back. And we'll bring the left fingertips down to kiss the mat, and then the fingertips of the right hand. So just keep going, swaying back and forth here side to side, and start to notice your breath. Inhaling and exhaling deeply in and out through the nose. Now plant your left palm to the mat, extend through the right leg and right arm, creating one long line from the outside of the right foot to the tips of your right fingertips. Take one more inhale here and then find your seated position this time sitting off to the left of your legs take that right arm overhead and begin to trace those slow big circles so yoga can be wonderful for circulation allowing the stretches to gently pull on the connective tissues and muscles and then finding your tall kneel once more Let's bring the hands behind the head, keeping the elbows nice and wide, and this time rocking side to side. So because we're breathing deeply in our practice today and stretching, we're supporting the health of our heart and the other organs to help circulate blood in a more efficient way throughout the body. And let's take one more here and then plant the palm of the right hand down, extending through left arm and left leg. Finding that nice long line again, allowing the breath to nurture wherever it is you feel the stretch. And bringing both palms back down to the mat, we'll find a hands and knees position with the shoulders above the wrists and the hips above the knees. A few rounds of cat and cow, inhaling to arch the back and exhaling to press the mat away and dome through the upper spine. A few more times here, finding your flow at the pace of your breath, feeling the shoulder blades slide alongside the back, pressing the spine up between the shoulder blades on your exhale. Let's find a neutral spine. We'll walk the hands just a little bit forwards, tuck the toes and meet in downward facing dog. And shake out the neck here, pedal out through the feet. Again, a little bit of that gentle movement here. So many muscle groups being stretched in down dog. And it's also an inversion which promotes healthy blood flow to the brain. Now inhale your right leg up towards the sky and exhale to step it between the hands, releasing your back knee for a low lunge. You can keep fingertips on the mat here or maybe bring the hands to your front thigh. Reach the heart forwards and engage through the back glutes a little bit just to stretch out through those hip flexors and quadriceps. Very nice. Spring fingertips back to the mat. We'll meet it in all fours once more and then press the hips back towards the heels for a gentle child's pose. Knees relatively close to one another. You might close the eyes here, maybe even rock the forehead side to side a little bit. And 
and we'll lift our way back up. Find our downward facing dog again, reaching tailbone high. Maybe pedaling out the feet once more, swaying the hips from side to side. And then inhaling left leg up towards the sky now. Exhaling to bring it between the hands and we'll find our low lunge on this second side. Choosing whether you'd like to keep fingertips on the mat or bring your palms to that front knee. This is an active stretch to help increase circulation to the lower extremities of the body. It's great if you sit a lot. When we do spend a lot of time seated, the blood can kind of pool into the hip area. So stretches like these ones are just what we need to hit the spot. We can make our way back to all fours now, very nice. Shake it off a little bit. And start to take the entire body around in a circle from this all fours position. So maybe progressively making your circle bigger. And then reversing the direction of your circle, pressing into the hips, pressing into the shoulders. This is a wonderful practice to come back to anytime you want a little bit of gentle movement and of course improved circulation. Let's swing the legs across now. We'll meet in a seated position, extending the left leg out in front and crossing right knee over left knee for a half shoelace pose. And once you've arrived, you can gently place left palm on right knee and twist towards the right looking over your back shoulder. Keep the spine reaching long, sitting up tall. And then keeping the legs as they are, we'll take a counter twist, opening up towards the left now. So the right hand might come just in front of the right knee. And coming back to center, keeping the legs crossed, just bring the sole of the right foot now to the outside of the left leg, hugging that knee towards your chest, and just sitting up nice and tall, maybe bringing right fingertips behind you for support. Breathing deeply here. And we'll let that go, shake out the legs a little bit. Very nicely done. We'll try the second side by bringing left knee over right for that half shoelace and beginning with our twist towards the left, planting left fingertips behind you, looking over that back shoulder, staying nice and tall. And on your next exhale, twisting open towards the right. Wonderful. Bring the upper body back to center, planting sole of left foot to the outside of your right thigh now, and just hug that leg in, maybe with both arms, or maybe with the left hand behind you. Wonderful. Bring both feet flat to the mat so you can gently roll yourself down. Lying on your back now, arms alongside the body, and simply pull both knees into the chest, keeping them a little bit apart and gently rocking side to side. Just finding a simple movement here. You might stay right there. Or you can also grab the outsides of the feet for a happy baby posture. Facing the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. And again, maybe swaying a little bit gently left and right.
and then releasing hold of the feet if you are holding them, just pulling the knees into the chest for one more breath before extending the feet up towards the sky for your waterfall pose, bringing one hand to the belly, the other to your heart, feeling those areas rise and fall with the breath. You might even take some little ankle circles here in both directions. Waterfall has so many positive effects on the body. Really wonderful for reversing the flow of blood in the legs. And I do also have a 10 minute practice of legs up the wall, which would combine nicely with this one. And just kick out your legs, just let everything go, really shaking it off here, letting go of the ankles, the toes, the feet. And then very slowly roll yourself over to one side, coming back up to any seated position of your choice, resting the hands on the knees. We'll take some neck circles towards the right. Again, very slowly, just kind of drawing a circle in the air with the nose. And then reversing your circle. And let's take one last circle here. And straightening up the spine once more, very nice. All together, let's inhale the arms up towards the sky. Exhale the palms to heart center. Beautifully done. I thank you for practicing with me today. If you found that your hips were just a little bit tight, then I recommend clicking the first link in the description box below so that I can send you my free 15 minute tight hips fix video. If you enjoyed this, please do hit the like button, and I look forward to practicing with you again soon. Have a wonderful day, everyone.